So I think it's really disingenuous. And again, I've seen a lot of this sort of Mark Cuban saving my life type of messaging. And again, it would be great if he, he does do that. Maybe he can use his fortune to uh, lower prices by contributing personally. I've been getting a lot of messages about Mark Cuban's drug company. The first thing is it's not a drug company. Mark Cuban doesn't make drugs. He just buys drugs from generic companies. And I've been in the generic uh, drug business for a long time. So I can tell you that it's a very cutthroat business with very low margins. So is pharmacy. So I actually did a deep dive into Mark Cuban's website where I saw these uh, exaggerated claims of cost savings. So one example is Gleevec. Gleevec is a drug that's been generic for a while and Cuban site claims that it's uh, $2,000 or $9,000 for a month of medicine. But if you just go to GoodRx, you'll see that his competitors are actually at $100. So it's really a misleading claim. And uh, again, I would caution anybody making misleading claims. Uh, you know, I recently spent some time in federal prison for doing something like that. So ultimately, I think it's important to actually show what your real competitor's pricing is. So he does seem to have a good cost advantage on Gleevec, even with the smoke and mirrors, it's about 50% or 60%, but it's not the 99% cost savings. Every other drug I looked into on Cuban's website wasn't any cheaper than any of his competitors. So he seems to have one kind of like story that attracts people to the website, and that's for a very rarely used drug. And most patients uh, have insurance for that drug where co-pays are actually zero. So there are very, very few people that would benefit from Mark Cuban's uh, online pharmacy. Nevertheless, I wish him luck. I think, you know, the, the problem that he's gonna have is that he doesn't have any buying power that he can use to extract prices any better from any other uh, generic company, you know, given that he's a brand new player and, and quite small. So I don't see how he can sort of get the buying power he's gonna need to be able to negotiate prices any better than say Walgreens or CVS who have extreme buying power. Now there's other companies that are doing online pharmacy. Uh, there's Genius RX, there's Good RX, there's DI. Uh, there's a whole bunch of companies that, that do this exact thing. They have the same business model, they have the same mission statement, they have the same exact sort of ethos and credo and they've been around longer. But I think the one thing that Cuban's doing that's really um, kind of uh, gross to me is sort of picking, cherry picking the wrong prices. Uh, Good RX does this too, so I can't say the blame is only on him. But to me, if you want to really be transparent, which is, I guess, what he's saying he is, then uh, I would compare my price to the other competitive uh, pharmaceutical prices or pharmacy prices, I should say, not the ones that are um, just simply the old brand drug uh, price or something like that. Nobody's using that anymore. So I think it's really disingenuous. And again, I've seen a lot of this sort of Mark Cuban saving my life type of messaging. And again, it would be great if he, he does do that. Maybe he can use his fortune to uh, lower prices by uh, contributing personally to a lower price, but I suspect that, you know, to the extent he wants to be in business sustainably without um, coming out of his own pocket, I don't think he's going to be able to do that in the long run. So anyway, thank, thanks for listening. You can uh, see more on my Substack.